everyone. Um, I got an update for you guys. First of all, I want to thank you all for watching, clicking on this video, watching it. Thank you so much. If you have not um, subscribed or watched any of my videos, if this is the first video you've watched of mine, or um, if you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe to become a member of Abigail Faith. And um, if it's your first time watching any of my videos, I want to say that I usually, I try to get a video posted every night besides Sunday. So on Sundays, there's no video posted, but on every day besides Sunday, I try to post a video. So just letting you guys know if it's your first time watching. Today, I wanted to post an update on my little brother. Okay, so if you've been up to date on um, my little brother's surgery, he had tonsil surgery. That surgery to get his tonsils and adenoids removed. And, um, anyways, they said it takes about a week to ten days to heal up completely. But today is like, I don't remember, maybe day nine or day ten or something like that. And today he had a major setback. It just got really bad worse. Um, every day we were seeing a little bit of um, progress on getting better. But today he was just was in a lot of pain. He wouldn't hardly really eat. And they actually said that it's okay if he doesn't eat a lot if he's in pain. But he still doesn't want to take his medicine. Um, the medicine they prescribed him. You don't want to take it. He's not wanting to eat or drink anything, hardly. And so, um, anyway, we went to, we called, like, their doc his doctor's office. And they said that if it was really that bad, that we needed to bring him to the emergency room. So we brought me and my mom and my little brother went to the emergency room. And, um, they did, they, like, took blood, they gave him a couple shots, stuff like that, and, um, he just, he didn't take the shots very well, they, they tried to do an IV, but he wouldn't sit still long enough for them to actually find the vein and stuff, so then that didn't really work out very well, and so, basically, the news is, they said that he is dehydrated, but they said um, that it's not to the point that it's like they absolutely have to do anything. They said to tonight to try to, as much as possible, make him drink something, but um, as far as, he was dehydrated, but it wasn't like to the point that it was like life or death or anything like that, so... Um, they said, basically, give it another day, give it till tomorrow, and then see what happens. And, um, they did give him, they did force some medicine down him. And after we got home, I mean, he's, he's still pretty fussy and stuff, but after we got home, or on the way home, I think his medicine kicked in a little bit because he drank a little bit of a milkshake so that was good. He drank, a little, I think, a few, a couple drinks of his milkshake, and so that's good, and he seemed a little bit happier after that. So I think the medicine is helping, but um, basically the update is that he's been doing about the same for the past several days, but today was a major setback. It was, he got pretty, um... He increased worse today, I think, and so, like, almost the whole time, besides maybe three times since he's had his tonsils removed, besides maybe two or three times, um, he hasn't wanted to sit with me, he's been wanting to sit with his mom, our mom, but he, like, this is how I knew he really wasn't feeling good, is he actually crawled up in my lap and fell asleep on me while me holding him and so I knew that you know if he wanted somebody else besides his mom and he was falling asleep that quick I figured that he probably wasn't feeling very good so 
Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. Basically, right now, they say he's dehydrated. To try to push the the um liquids to try to make him drink water and tea, whatever you can get down him that's considered a drink. They also said he can he can have anything to eat that he wants besides popcorn, but he can't have popcorn, but other than that he can have just about anything else he wants to eat. Um, even though he's not really eating a whole lot, he did have I don't think he's had anything really to eat in like a couple of days. Besides, I think he did have like a bite of pizza today and he's drank maybe about half a sippy cup of water and maybe about a half a, half a sippy cup of tea. So he's getting a little bit to drink and he's ate maybe about a bite of food today, which is, I guess it's about the same, maybe just a little bit better. But today was a major setback. It was today. Um, the reason why we took him in the emergency room is because he just, we saw it majorly get worse. And so that's why we took him to the emergency room. So, um, I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe and share. Subscribe to become a member of Avago Faith. Be sure to like, subscribe and share. And, um, thanks for watching guys. And, um, be sure if you think of anything that you would want to ask me or just some positive thoughts or, um, just, you know, even if you want to put like hugs or, or, um, something nice down in the comments, that'd be good. And until next time, I say bye. Thanks for watching guys. Bye. See you probably tomorrow. Bye.